Indiana school shooting comes a week after the deadly mass shooting at Santa Fe High School here in Texas. After Governor Greg Abbott hosted three roundtable discussions about school safety this week, what's next? Political reporter Jack Fink takes a look. And we're just sitting there, and my banner said, Why Santa Fe? And we said, Why not? Why not? It's happening everywhere. After recalling the moment a 17 year old student at Santa Fe High School shot and killed 10 people one week ago, Grace Johnson told state leaders she wants to see more police officers and limited entrances and other ideas to make schools safer. You know, arming teachers and not knowing who is armed. That's what we need. The question now is if approved, where would all this money come from to pay for arming teachers, to pay for putting more police officers in schools, and to pay for hardening the school buildings themselves? Governor Abbott and other state leaders have said the legislature and Congress need to act. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says keeping guns out of schools must be a top priority. So I'm hoping that maybe we have some resources from the federal government. I think schools are going to have to participate with what, what resources they have. And I think the legislature is going to have to also be a part of this. Senator Ted Cruz said the president recently signed a bill passed by Congress that he fought for to grant two and a half billion dollars that schools can use to hire more police officers and for metal detectors. That we're going to continue to work and cooperate to ensure that those federal resources that they get to Texas, that they get to the, to the schools, to the communities that need them. Shelley Shaw, who lives in Santa Fe and teaches in nearby Dickinson, said there's too much money being spent on star tests. Uh, that, that is billions of dollars that could go towards safety. In addition to long-term solutions, Governor Abbott is also looking for policies that can be put into place before students return to school in August. At the state capitol, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. The state has a four-year contract with Educational Testing Service for $280 million to provide STAR tests, but there's no official um, accounting of how much it costs school districts across Texas to administer those exams.